Bush administration, working under Christopher Wray. He's now the director of the Heritage Foundation's Edwin Meesk Center for Legal and Judicial Studies. John, thank you uh, for joining us. Your first impressions uh, of the nominee. Oh, I think Chris Ray is, is phenomenal. I mean, I've actually known Chris for a long time. We were both practicing law in Atlanta uh, for a while, and we, we were both federal prosecutors there, although we just missed uh, overlapping. So I have known people who have worked with Chris, uh, from defense attorneys to prosecutors to federal agents who have long admired him. And then I had the pleasure of working with him uh, for three years uh, at the Department of Justice and for about 10 months directly under him as one of his deputies in the criminal division. Uh, so given that uh, Comey is going to be testifying today, uh, put Chris in that role. How would he have handled all of this? Oh, well, that, that's impossible to say. I, I certainly think that he uh, will, you know, approach his job with integrity and dedication and will pursue Action. any investigations in a nonpartisan way. And I certainly don't think he'll do anything to interfere uh, with the investigation that Bob Mueller is now conducting. Um, we asked this uh, yesterday um, uh, of, of one of the guests, to the extent that you know him as well as you do, is there any Achilles heel that you'd identify? No, other than the fact that he is, uh, he's contributed to Republican candidates and he represented Chris Christie in Bridgegate, so I'm assuming that some Democrats will try to make hay of that, uh, but Chris Ray is a, a, a very principled guy who's you know, had an outstanding professional career, and there's no, there's no real reason why he shouldn't be confirmed as FBI director. Wait a minute. He, he's a Republican? <laughs> My God, shocking. <laughs> well, you just gave, that's what we needed. <laughs> well, he was there, a political, he was a political appointee in the Bush administration. Whoa, can he even walk with that heel? <laughs> God almighty. John, um, while we have you here, what do you think sure. the relationship should be like between the president uh, and, and the director of the FBI? Well, there's nothing wrong with the president meeting with the FBI director. The president has the constitutional uh, authority, in fact, a command to take care that the laws be faithfully executed. The primary department for doing that is the Department of Justice, and the FBI is a component of that. Uh, I certainly don't think that the president should attempt uh, to interfere with, uh, with an investigation. Uh, it's it's a, a heavy-handed thing to do, and it will undoubtedly fail. I mean, if a president tries to do that, or there's even a hint that he might be doing that, it is at the very least going to cause political trouble, and if anything, will ramp up that investigation. But, the president, hit, right, but the president has authority, definitely. I mean, oh, we, sure. the last thing we need is J. Edgar Hoover, where, where guys are, you know, political candidates are afraid to, you know, to, to even get on his bad side. He Absolutely. May have been more, he may have been more powerful than some presidents in his yeah, day. Yeah, no, oh, I think he was more powerful than some presidents. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, the FBI director has to be accountable to somebody. He serves in the executive branch, just as the president is politically accountable to the public. Uh, John, uh, You've now read, the, uh, I imagine, at least some of uh, what we're going to see today, yep. the written testimony uh, that Comey's provided. If you were a prosecutor, and I know it's uh, different uh, given the rules and regulations around prosecuting a president in this instance, but sure. if you were to look at it just uh, with your judicial eye on as a prosecutor, do you think you'd prosecute for obstruction of justice if he wasn't the president? No, not based on the facts as we have them now. Uh, so you have at one point, uh, according to uh, Jim Comey's statement, the president is saying, look, I hope you can uh, let Mike Flynn go. I hope at the end of the day you'll let this thing go. At another point, he's saying, look, I, you need to announce that I'm not under investigation, but if some of my satellite folks did something wrong, you know, you should find that out. And certainly, Jim Comey at the time did not believe that the president was committing a crime. If he did, he would have done one of three things. He would have either said, Mr. President, this conversation's over, it's totally inappropriate. He would have stood up and resigned on the spot, or he would have immediately contacted the attorney general, who had not at that point recused himself. He didn't do any of those things. So, look, there's, there's some smoke there. This will cause the president political problems. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't, certainly don't think he's in any legal jeopardy. And as you point out, as president, he could not be indicted anyway. John, do you, do you think that because of the, um, because of the plane meeting and Loretta Lynch not being... Uh, you know, not, uh, really right. not uh, being able to decide on that. Do you think that gives Comey, um, I guess, a legitimate justification for deciding whether, or putting himself in a position of whether something is prosecutable or not? So su suddenly, 
we're like asking whether it matters whether Jim Comey thinks something is, is a crime or not when he's just the guy doing the investigating. Uh, suddenly, he's put himself into a position where we think it's normal to ask him whether this is prosecutable or not. And why the hell is that? Because it has nothing to do with who he's supposed to be. But we're well, asking no. it like, he's, like yeah. he's got some authority over him. No, you're right. When Guys, he was the deputy attorney general, he John, might have John, I'm, had I'm some sorry to authority. cut you off. We have some breaking news. The ECB is just okay. out with its rate decision. Can you hold with us for just a moment? Let's get to Steve Leisman. He has the details.